It's John V3 IPS here, Kitchener Waterloo Ham Fest. It's at the Waterloo Police Association. And uh, they got a food bar there with uh, lunch specials. And uh, they just opened the doors now, so there is a, an outdoor area. We'll go take a look. Not as many vendors as the years before. I'm not sure. Not sure why. Maybe it's the price of gas. I don't know. Uh, but uh, outdoors, uh, the outdoor guys are in full tow, so the tailgaters are there. And then we'll come back indoors here. Great job by, done by this club every year. And uh, it's a big social event too for the club and ham radio uh, operators in the community. So surprisingly, a couple of tables are still empty. But those guys are still coming in. There's Norm CZI, he's always got lots of stuff. Uh, Art by Selena uh, for these uh, signs. Uh, great thing to get for Father's Day. And uh, more electronic stuff here, some old radios here, a 101E. 190 bucks, that's uh, it's a good deal right there. And uh, some estate stuff here left over, patch panel, antennas, whips, VHF marine radio, look at that. Needs a microphone, toroids, more stuff here. Chris EAY is promoting bark at the Kitchener Waterloo. I don't know if you can do that, Chris. You can't promote your club ham fest at a ham fest. I don't know if that's allowed. Because they're tailgaters. Yeah, well, hey, you know what? Mike MKX is here, always goodies of QRP, hard to find stuff. He's got uh, a lot of microphones. If you're into microphones, he's the guy. Bob's here from Maple Leaf. Uh, I don't know what Bob's doing, but he's, it looks like he's getting rid of all his uh, his stations. I don't know. We just use a Bofang or something, or back to QRP. What's a Bofang? <laughs> uh, okay, exactly. <laughs> I, apparently, it's, it's a radio that gets a lot of intermod. <laughs> Not a good radio, but uh, if it falls in the water while you're fishing and talking on the two meter repeater, you don't have to worry about it. Marobo's here with his robots and stuff. Perfect for STEM. Pricing's really good. Perfect items for kids to have something to do and uh, do some soldering, building, and a bit of coating. So that's a quick look here, indoors here. At the ham fest, here's a Marconi R1155 aircraft radio receiver. Ready to go. Um, not sure what era this is. I'm thinking it was maybe World War II, but uh, we don't know. Uh, Don's not here. He, he went out, so, oh, he's got a service tag here, so. Oh, it's part of the direction finding thing. So I think there's two of these, and then they have some appropriate antennas. Anyway, 73s.